If you are a business owner or you're in sales and you would like to take a somatic approach to expanding your business or your sales, then we have two great options for you. We will be hosting a live in-person event on May 18th in Laconia, New Hampshire at Work Lakes Region. There's the option of a morning only session or you can attend the entire day with us and be there for two sessions. The other option is a six week online course that will walk you through how to unlock financial abundance inside of your business or inside of your sales. The six week online workshop starts on May 18th and all of the classes are recorded and posted into our site that holds the rest of the material. If you are looking to expand your business or sales, then taking a somatic approach where you release stories and blocks that you're holding in your nervous system, you will see a shift in the way that you are doing business. Hi, and thanks for joining us here at Rose Quartz Mediumship Podcast, where we just love anything and everything healing and metaphysically based. I wanted to talk a little bit about somatics and my business. Somatics means in relation to the body versus in relation to the mind. And as a physical therapist, I have a deep love for body-centered or embodied practices. When I went through my somatic certification training, I learned so much about myself. And I recognized that it was a missing piece in my reality. As I did a ton of interpersonal work and personal development with somatics, I began to really understand the power that somatics had. Because the body is the voice of the unconscious or subconscious, it gives us access to stories that are held in our unconscious in our nervous system. Being able to have access to those stories is absolutely life-changing. It will change your reality if you allow it to. Because when you have access to those stories, it's going to give you the ability to release them. We cannot regulate emotions that we are not willing to feel. We cannot release a story that we are unwilling to feel. And being able to access these stories that you're holding in your nervous system is so incredibly powerful. And I can tell you as a business owner, it was really life-changing for me to do this work on myself. And then when I started doing the work around my business and the stories that I was holding in my nervous system about my business and about my work-life balance, I was blown away, absolutely blown away. The interesting thing about the stories that we hold in our nervous system is that they made sense at one point in time. And when you get access to these stories, there's almost a little bit of comical relief there because you look at these stories and they kind of make you laugh. They don't make sense. The stories that you're holding in your nervous system that are in opposition to business expansion don't necessarily make sense for the here and now. You can understand how you created that story and 
it's important for me to kind of pause right now and just say that our nervous system is only trying to protect us. It is only trying to love us. And so these stories that our nervous system is holding that are in opposition to where we want to go in our, inside of our business, our nervous system is doing that to protect us because it believes that it's the safest thing for us to have is this form of protection. But these stories don't necessarily make sense. And as you explore these stories that you're holding in your nervous system, you're able to feel them. And, and I'm, when I say feel them, I don't mean just think about them. I mean feel them. Experience what the energy of that story feels like inside of your body. And when you really feel it, when you feel the emotions, when you feel the inner sensations, when you feel the body posture that is associated with these stories, you are also giving yourself the gift of releasing the story. In the form of somatic training that I went through, the certification course that I went through, the way that that expression of somatics works is that you don't intend upon releasing something. You intend upon feeling it. And it's in the process of feeling it that you will also feel it release. But the focus is not on the release. The focus is on feeling. And I can tell you that that shift was very different from other trainings that I'd been through where the focus was on the release. It was like, how quickly can we get rid of this thing? And that's not really how I have found very effective for actually releasing, right? I think that you need to feel something before you can release it. And so the certification course that I went through for somatics was very much aligned for me because it was that basis that instead of trying to focus your awareness or your attention on releasing something, you focus your awareness and your attention on feeling something. And when you feel it, you release it. And I know sometimes there are people who say, well, I don't want to feel something because I don't want to connect with it and manifest it. And my answer is, we're not feeling these stories that are not aligned so that we can identify with them. We're feeling them so that we can let them go. If they're in your nervous system and you are refusing to look at them or feel them, they are going to impact you. <laughs> They are going to show up in your reality. They're going to show up in your inner energetic posture. They're going to show up in your subconscious beliefs. They're going to show up in the way that you move through the world and the way that you approach your business. And when you are willing and when you are brave enough to look at the stories that you are holding in your unconscious or subconscious, in your nervous system, in your body, when you really give yourself permission to feel these stories, you will also feel them release. And when you feel that release, you get the opportunity to create a new story. Some story that is aligned with where you're going. And you will feel that new story in your body. You will feel it in your inner energetic posture. You will feel it in your emotions. You will feel it in your inner sensations inside of your body. You will feel that new story. And you will begin to become an energetic match for that story. And that is how we align with something and how we manifest something, is that we deeply connect with the feelings of this new story. And we become an energetic match for it. It changes the way that we move through the world. It changes the way that we approach scenarios, people, situations, experiences. It changes the way that we think, changes the way that we move energetically and physically. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about how somatics is such an incredibly powerful tool for personal development, but it's just as powerful when you're looking at your business. If you think about your business as a being, 
as an energy source. It becomes really easy to do somatics on you and your business together. And it is incredibly powerful to learn what stories you're holding in your unconscious or your subconscious. I can tell you that when I went through and did this for myself, and I did a lot of work around this, I was amazed at some of the stories that I was holding in my nervous system. And I could see so clearly how they were showing up in the way that I moved through the world, in the way that I was approaching business, in the way that I was approaching clients and business expansion and new opportunities, courses and trainings. And when I felt the release, I also felt the new story come in. And I began to really connect and become an energetic match for that story. And literally overnight, I watched things shift and change in my business. And in all of the trainings, all of the courses, all of the things that I have done inside of my business, somatics was by far the most powerful thing that I have done. And it was the thing that created the biggest shift and change inside of my business into a place that felt aligned and that felt delicious and that felt fun and that felt reciprocal and that felt balanced and that felt healthy. And so if you own a business or if you are in sales, I cannot recommend highly enough to do some somatic work around your business, around you inside of your business. What stories are you holding in your nervous system that are in direct opposition for where you're trying to go inside of your business? And when you find those stories, you are going to watch all sorts of things unlock and shift and change. It was literally overnight that I watched a significant shift in my business. And I really had no idea how powerful that was going to be for me and how powerful that was going to be for my clients and for the people who I work with. And I can tell you that when I did this work, I literally had clients saying to me, you feel different to me. You look different to me. And that was the only thing that had changed. And so the people in my reality who knew me, who were working with me on a regular basis, were picking up on this shift, were picking up on this change. I never said a word. And I had a whole bunch of people point out to me that I felt different to them. I looked different to them. I was different for them. And I watched the financials in my business change overnight. And I watched opportunities open up, doors open up that I didn't even know were there. And it literally happened overnight. And so if you own a business or if you're in sales, I cannot express to you how incredibly powerful somatics could be for you. I really enjoy having you here with us at Rose Quartz Media Chip Podcast. And I hope that you have a beautiful morning, day, evening, or night.